Hey guys, Silence Day out here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross update video. We are at the end of the month for October. So of course we have to talk about November's upcoming events for Uta Macross and what Dana has planned, you know, to leech the money off the fans. <laughs> so let's take a look at the uh, wiki page for the official Uta Macross game. And immediately you can see the event lineups and if you guys are familiar with some of the songs in the Macross lineup um, of course within the whole Macross franchise itself you know that there's two particular things that's pretty exciting about so first off we'll talk about the brand new seven star episode plate that's belonging to Basara yes finally Macross 7 is getting its return as the top or rather the, the front page lineup. <laughs> so Basara is getting his Macross crossover live key visual costume that was designed by Mikimoto Sensei. And yeah, as you can tell, it's actually written here in English. <laughs> and it's pretty exciting. And of course, the song feature is Hello. So if you guys don't know this song from the Macross 7 series, it was actually shown in the TV series but you know, for one particular time and that's it. <laughs> Other than that, the entire Macross 7 TV series was just filled with uh, the iconic Fire Bomber songs. Uh, so. <laughs> Moving along, um, the other information here is actually talking about Valkyrie, uh, you know, Akira Menai being implemented into the song permanently um, that will happen on the 31st of October, 12 o'clock. So that's actually noon um, or in Japan time. So the song will be permanently added you know, to celebrate, of course, the third album release for Valkyrie Reborn. Um, so this this is nothing really that exciting about. It's kind of expected, but, you know, I didn't expect the song to be added permanently so soon. But, you know, that's a good thing, considering that we've been playing so much of it this month uh, with all the missions and all the celebration stuff. Oh, God. I, I can do without this song for a while. <laughs> Anyways, uh, of course, as usual, we already know who the other 7-star episode played is. Uh, belonging to that's kind of a bummer that this month is still a double seven star plate drain for our wallets but you know Kaname fans we've already been telling you to stand by your singing stones so hopefully you guys are ready but Basara fans I kind of pity you if you are also Kaname fans it's a double punishment for you guys <laughs> um, but at least at least Basara's Gacha will have the event gacha tickets. So if you guys don't really have the singing stones because you stand Kaname more than Basara, at least you will have those free tickets to you know pull out, try and pull out Basara seven star. Alright, moving along, finally Makina and Rei Rei are getting their original Valkyrie costumes. And Freya is of course left out of the picture because she is a new gen Valkyrie member. I wonder if we will actually see Claire appear in Uta Macross in the future because she is the only other OG Valkyrie member who has yet received this costume. Or maybe we'll see the other uh, senpai. I can't really remember her name though. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, she was there but she's not as prominent as Claire. So. <laughs> <laughs> so Maki Rei, um, of course their costumes will be appearing during the Red Boss event and of course the second event of the month um, which belongs to the, you know, the Kuji event. <clears throat> okay, moving along. So the Red Boss exclusive event ticket belongs to Minmei and Kaname. Uh, considering that Minmei's name has appeared first, I guess the SDF Macross song will be featured for the Red Boss event. Hopefully it's an easy one. Usually, usually SDF Macross songs are always easy. Um, which kind of worries me for the last event of the month. Because I'm sure you guys who are Macross Plus fans can recognize the costumes for Cheryl and Ranka easily. And of course, you can tell from the title as well of the song. So Macross Plus fans, we are getting new songs for your favorite series. And uh, of course, as usual, Sh uh, Sharon Apple is not going to appear in this game. It's just going to be a 
digital avatar like we've seen in the last Macross Plus song. Um, you know, in the live sequences, where whichever diva you use, she'll just project herself on them uh, midway through the performance. So yes, Cheryl and Ranka are gonna get costumes that will be in, you know, tribute to Sharon Apple. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of exciting, kind of exciting. Uh, so yeah, I mean, Ranka looks nice in this one. Well, then of course the angel version on Cheryl, which is normally what you would expect to be swapped. You know, considering that the angel image doesn't really suit Cheryl. I'm sorry Cheryl fans, but yeah, it doesn't seem to suit her. I think she would look actually look better in the red and pink dress. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, I guess the colour, they wanted the colour to stand out, the hair colour especially, since green does pop more with the red and pink. But, you know, uh, design choices. Anyways, aside from that, of course, the repeat event, which is the second event of the month. Um, we're going through some of the Christmas events now. I think it's a bit too early, considering that it's still November. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's always nice to have early Christmas celebrations, considering that December is just around the corner. Um, then of course for the birthday step-ups, um, the featured plates you can see in the images. We've got uh, Freya's birthday, we've got Cheryl's birthday. There's a lot of birthday, so um, I guess Freya and Cheryl fans get your singing stones ready, ready if you want to you know, pull out uh, your favorite D waifu's birthday exclusive plates. I mean, they have not added new birthday exclusive plates for a while. So I guess the birthday plates are just going to be one of a kind and that's it. Which is always good. Means it's easy on our wallets. Um, so guys, that's about it for all the information for the month of November. Are you guys excited, especially for Basara and Kaname fans? Or are you Macross Plus fans extremely excited that a new song will be added to the game finally? Um, I don't know, maybe we might get to see more Valkyries this time around. I don't know. I don't know if the... No, probably not because this is a Macross 7 song, so it's unlikely to see a new Valkyrie from the Macross Plus era. Um, most probably it's gonna be another rendition of the Fire Bombers Valkyries. Maybe we'll see the other two members Valkyries finally. <laughs> Who knows? But anyways, until then guys, thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Uta Macross Updates. Hopefully you guys uh, got things cleared with what's to come in the month of November. Are you guys ready? As usual, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!